Hey, hey, people. Jacob at Sutherland Chevrolet in Nicholasville, Kentucky here today to show you our 2020 Lexus RX 350 F-Sport. I'm going to walk around the exterior and the interior today. I'm going to point out anything that I find interesting or unique, and, uh, and then I'll probably be done. Um, first off, let's walk around the outside here. I will tell you that the vehicle absolutely needs another bath. You'll see a lot of spots from rain like this that just wipe off. Uh, with my hand um, I will mention back here see where this crease is that's built into the body line well you've got a spot right here where someone's dropped something on it it's got a nice cute little dimple there uh, that may or may not be easy or hard to get out or impossible to get out based off of this crease so that's something we have to take a have a dent guy look at and see what he can do with it um, this side of the back bumper looks good this wheel looks good, it's just dirty, it needs another bath. Everything on this side looks really good, it just needs another bath. This wheel looks good. You got some bird right there, that's lovely. Um, over here on the hood, there's a lot of little rock chips in there, so. Um, something to be aware of on a black vehicle um, it's it's got painted bumpers and everything like this it's gonna get little rock chips you've also got rock chips on you know the front bumper as well it's gonna happen there's not really a way around it but it's something to be mindful of you also have a scratch right here Goes right there, comes up into this little accessory piece, and ends there. Over on this side, the wheels continue to look great. You don't really have any problems there, so that's wonderful. And this side of the body of the vehicle looks to be in excellent shape. I'm not noticing any scratches, dents, dings, anything weird or exciting there except right here now I'm noticing something you got a little spot right there where something's rubbed up against it maybe a shopping cart or something everything looks good on the roof not noticing anything weird there and mainly I'm just seeing that it needs a bath you'll see back here there's this spot right here where something scratched it it's gone down this right alongside this raised Lexus logo here and followed its way down until it reached this. You'll see here as well, and it's my camera's having focus, trouble, trouble focusing there, but there's a little line there where it's uh, rubbed up against it. Other than that, everything looks really good. Well, since I was back at the back hatch, let's look at them through the back hatch. I'm gonna switch to a wider angle lens here see everything a little better everything back here looks fantastic the interior is in excellent shape so that's wonderful I love the red personally and the seats back here that are power up and down which is pretty cool raise that back up you got your heated seats down there, some outlets, your air vents, of course, windows on both the doors. Over here, you got your memory seat settings, your release for the door, your windows, lock and unlock. Uh, this button allows you to lock the windows so people, other people can't mess with them, at least you still can. And you got your mirror selectors here for your mirror adjustments and your power fold in, fold out mirrors there as well. So fold those back out. I'm going to go back over here and show you the interior. Um, so it is very, very nice. I'm not going to notice anything weird. The headliner all looks good. No crazy coffee stains or whatever else you could imagine could be up there. You got a ton of buttons here. Uh, buttons over here. It's got heads-up display. I'll try to show you that as well. If you can see, it's kind of light there. Right. You can see kind of the direction you're going, the speed you're going, what gear you're in. So I'm in park now. 
I'll switch it down to drive. Now we'll be in drive. It's not showing up on the camera how it shows up in real life. It's a lot easier to see in real life. Um, over here, you got your, oops, I need to unzoom there. It's kind of crazy. So you've got your uh, heated steering wheel. This is like a, some kind of camera view for the like park assist system. Um, you've got your automatic headlamps or bright lamps. Um, you've got the heads up display that turns on and off the heads up display. You've got the button here that raises and lowers the tailgate. Um, heat electronic uh, the electronic parking brake. Uh, you've got the hold button, which is nice if you're on a hill and you're trying to stay on that hill without having to mess around with the, the gas and the brake. You can press that button there. It will keep you on the hill. Uh, here in front of your gear shift, you've got uh, your heated and cooled seats. Of course, the cooled seats are on right now. It's warm outside, and I'm a big guy, so I like them. Uh, your heated seats are just above that. Back here, uh, you got your controls for the massive display here. So I can show you all kinds of different things. You know, I can hit the menu button here. And you've got Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which is very nice. Um, navigation, you know, all the good stuff that you come to expect in a vehicle like this is here. Uh, you got some different driving modes here as well. So you got a normal and economy, and then uh, you've got your sport modes. Um, this is a locking uh, differential or of some kind there. I'm not sure which one, but. I'll look it up and figure it out for you. <laughs> the traction control off is right here next to it. Now that turns off the traction control. I would pretty much leave that alone unless you're trying to do donuts or burnouts or you're stuck in mud. That's when you might want to turn that off in real driving scenarios. Uh, you do have a CD player, which is weird. Most people aren't putting CD players in vehicles anymore, so that's pretty cool. Um, over here on the steering wheel, you got your uh, up and down for the volume controls. You've got controls to go through your different like uh, saved stations on the radio. Um, you've got uh, this button here. That uh, well, actually, this button here at the top that changes through the the modes on the stereo. So whether you want to listen to XM or AM or FM or you you know music from your phone through Bluetooth, you can press that button there and go through your different sources. Uh, this button brings up the voice assistant on your phone. This button answers phone calls. This button hangs up on phone calls. These buttons over here all are just the information shown in the digital information center in your gauge cluster. Uh, the buttons right here, that's for your lane keep assist, the lane change alert, and this button's for your forward collision alert. And then your cruise control is right down here. Um, your lighting controls are all over here on the left side on this uh, um, branch that comes off of your... Uh, I think of what this thing's called right now. And then on the right side, you've got all your controls for the uh, your windshield wipers. <laughs> I don't know if that was hard, so hard to say. Um, but uh, yeah, all your radio controls are mixed in here. So you've got, you know, some pretty classic buttons and things. I like that it still has a tune knob. A lot of manufacturers are getting away from that, which I think is kind of silly. I like traditional vehicles, and so having the tune knob is nice to me. And then, of course, you've got the um, touchpad here for adjusting things on the stereo. So, very nice. Um, you got some storage down here. And of course, your glove box is right here. But my name is Jacob Miller. I work at Sutherland Chevrolet here. If you have any questions about the 2020 Lexus RX350 F Sport, please let me know. I'll do anything I can. You can reach me on my cell phone at 859 492 1137. Again, that's 859 492 1137. Thank you and have a wonderful day.